Hey guys, welcome back. So as a solutions architect, you have to provide the best possible solution for a given scenario. So one scenario that we're going to discuss in this video is commonly used in enterprises as part of uh, the cloud architecture. So in this video, you're going to see um, how to trigger cloud function whenever there is an event that occurs inside the GCP console. So by end of this video, you will know how to use stack driver logging, uh, not monitoring. And then you'll also see how to use PubSub uh, which is publisher and subscriber model in GCP. And you'll also see how to invoke the cloud function uh, through the PubSub when integrated with the stack driver logging. So I will go to the console and explain you step by step how to get this done. But the scenario which I'm going to discuss here is a simple scenario. So whenever an instance will spin up uh, using compute engine, I want to label that instance with specific labels like, you know, environment is equal to test or something. Before we get into the solution in the console, let's rewind and understand what is the scenario here. The scenario is that as soon as a VM instance is provisioned, we have to apply the labels to the provisioned VM instance. Now we have to come up with the best possible solution. So you can think of like creating a cron job, uh, running it for every few minutes and checking if there is an instance and applying the tags. That is one way of solving this. Or you can also um, you know do it manually of course so that is another way of doing this but we have to come up with the best solution and this might even appear in your architect exam so the way we're going to implement this by is by using a couple of very good services in gcp so one thing is stack driver because stack driver is logging all the information related to your vms and the second is pubsub so if i have to show you how stack driver log looks like you know i have provision one compute engine instance here and if i go to the log you can filter out other other uh, stuff and then select only specific resources that you want to see the logs for and i have selected gc vm instance service and i've selected all logs you can also configure that like based on the error, criticality and other stuff. Right now you can see that these are the events for uh, the VM instance uh, that have uh, that have provisioned right now. So for instance one, you can see everything is logged here. So this log is very valuable for us, uh, for this solution. And now th the next thing what we want to do is, we want to pick specifically the log information that's useful for our uh, solution, right? So, so the scenario here is every time an instance is created, we want to apply the labels. So we just need compute in instances insert scenario, I mean insert uh, filter. So what exactly we need is this one, right? This is the entry that we're looking for. If you expand this and expand the log, it has all the information related to the instance that got spun up, right? So this in, this information is good for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sync. Show matching entries. And this is the filter. You got all the matching entries for that filter and then create the sync. Sync name, I can uh, put this as a compute underscore create, right? Uh, it can be anything and the destination obviously is pubsub right so the sync service is pubsub here and sync destination if you do not have the topic we're going to create a new topic here instance label right so create sync Okay, the sync is created. You can also look for the sync um, from here, logs router. And if you want to edit the sync, you can edit it here. Now, if you go to PubSub, and refresh this, you can see there is instance underscore label, right? So uh, the, the 
this is the topic that we have created right now so click on the topic and here we're going to select trigger cloud function so basically what we are trying to do here is we are trying to trigger the cloud function as soon as the messages are sent to this this topic so trigger cloud function you can give it as a function one or default any name that you want and i prefer python 3.7 so I have written a small piece of code for this. I'll copy that from my code and then put it here. So if you don't know how to use cloud functions, um, I'm going to give you the link of this video, uh, of my previous video in the description, or you can select from the top and you can see how to use cloud functions in this in that video. So basically, uh, you know, what it does is it picks up the event uh, so the event event here is the message that we're getting from stack driver log so that's the event right so the event comes as a encoded format and we're going to decode it using you know base64 decode and then we're going to get all the data from that event so the data comes here as a json format so i'm going to load it here i'm loading it into my final variable and then i'm using I, I used it in a very rudimentary way, but you know, I'm going to modify this to use use um, iterations in Python to iterate into the JSON dictionary and get the information properly. But for this tutorial, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. We just have to get the right information from the JSON and apply the labels for that. So here I'm getting, I'm getting the resource name, the project ID zone, because these are all important for, uh, ex for calling the API. I'm going to give you the exact, uh, you know, documentation of Google for calling different APIs uh, for, for different things. So we, we are going to use here set labels API for the compute engine. And, and this is the body. So I'm passing environment test as a label for any VM that that is that gets spun up or that's provisioned in my project. Okay, so I'm going to save this. We have function name, trigger is cloud pub sub, and topic is instance underscore label. And this is the function to execute. Uh, we have the same function here, name and create. create. It's going to take a while. I'm going to pause this video uh, while it's getting created. Okay, so the function is created. As you can see, there's a green tick here, which, is, which means that it is active right now. Now what we'll do is we'll try to create a new instance and see if this is going to work. Create. So while that is happening, you can see for the previous instance, there were no labels here, right? So there were, um, where is the label section? Yeah, as you can see, there are no labels here, right? So for the new instance that is getting created right now, we have to see the label getting applied automatically. So if the labels are applied, then the solution is working. Okay, as you can see, uh, for the new instance, we have a new label environment colon test. So if you go to the cloud functions, Click on the function one and you can see it, it got executed here around this time, right? And you can also see the log of that. So when you click on view logs, so there are a bunch of errors here related to uh, the import functions or, you know, related to the libraries and stuff, but it, it executed successfully. As you can see, the status is okay here, which means that it applied the label as soon as uh, the instance got spun up. And this is, this is, uh, an example how you can come up with solutions using GCP services and, and these are the types of scenarios that you will expect in the exam especially in the architect exam not in associate exam this is more for an architect level 
where uh, they'll throw you a scenario and then you have to you have to come up with a solution the best possible solution i would say using the gcp services i hope this was helpful i'll give you all the links of the documentation in the description section and do let me know if you have a better solution for this scenario thank you Thank you.